again, I always like to experiment on my own before I do it with you guys just to make sure I do it right. <laughs> so I actually made this one earlier this morning. I just did this one today and it's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. So guys, today we are going to be making um, homemade sidewalk chalk paint. So I don't know, friends, do you guys have access to your reactions, the emojis? Can you guys just say yes in the chat or give me a thumbs up if you like to paint? Some friends might like to do it as like a hobby. I'm curious. Okay, so Miriam's giving a thumbs up because we're kind of combining two different things in this activity. We're combining painting and we're also combining drawing. Because usually, friends, when we have chalk, it's more of like a solid and we go outside. I'm sure friends have used chalk before, like sidewalk chalk or chalk on a chalkboard. It's more of a solid. Um, however, when we use sidewalk chalk paint, it's actually more of like a paint texture. It's more of a liquidy texture. So it's kind of cool that we're going to get to combine both. Yes. Okay. So a few people are saying they love painting. It's relaxing. It's fun. Absolutely. And this is something that you guys can do at home. All you need is water, cornstarch, washable paint, or food coloring. You can use either or to add color to your paint, baking soda, and then a bowl to mix it all in. So we're going to go through um, the portions that we need for each, the measurements. I'm going to show you guys how to make it. And then this is something that if you don't have the ingredients, like Miss Heather said right now, you can always come back and watch the recording and do it another day because luckily it's only July. We still have quite a few months left of nice weather. So you guys can get outside and do this whenever. Um, but we are going to get started here. So one thing I will say is give me a yes or a thumbs up in the chat if you guys were here was that last week when we made Ublek together? <laughs> yes. Okay. So I know some friends were here. Some friends did it with me. I gave a little warning. It can be a little messy. This activity is actually less messy. I will say that. However, we do use cornstarch again. And for friends who used cornstarch for the Ublek, we know that it's almost like really powdery and it like puffs and... I don't want to use the word it like explodes, but it kind of just puffs everywhere. And then you have like white powder. So you'll notice my mat is still a little messy from that. But we are going to use that again today. So just a fair warning. If you want to lay down like newspaper or even go outside and do this, you absolutely can. Can I ask you a question real quick? Does yes. anyone still have their black? And if not, how long were you able to keep it for? Remember, I was going to come back and ask because I wasn't sure. <laughs> That was your homework. How long? Did anybody keep it or did everybody's parents make them throw it out like I would have? <laughs> hey. All right. We'll make it again when the video comes out. All right, you guys. Well, if you do have it, like Miss Heather said, I'd love the update because I did not keep mine this long. And I'll tell you what, I actually forgot to put mine away that day. And I came back to it. I left it uncovered and it was like solid like a rock, which I did not think was going to happen. So it was really hard for me to get it out of the bowl. So I don't know if anybody else forgot about theirs and experienced that, but it definitely turned into just a big block of hardened cornstarch. So definitely cover it if you want to save it. Awesome. All right, you guys. So let's see. I'm going to switch cameras here. If you're on camera and you are participating in the activity, can you give me a thumbs up if you have your materials all ready to go? And we're going to get started. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So let me switch my camera here because we are going to do my hover cam again. I'm going to stop sharing so it's a little bit bigger. And let me go back so I can see my camera. There we go. Can you guys see my hand okay? Oh, no. I just realized it's still on the blurred background, though. So let me turn there it off. You go. There we go. <laughs> All righty, you guys. So ingredients. If you have cornstarch, it's going to come in like a little tube like this. This is something you can easily get at the grocery store. If you have baking soda, it's usually in a little box. This is also found at the grocery store. Uh-oh, Joey said he can't see it. Can you see it now, Joey? My hand's waving under my camera. Can you see it now, buddy? 
If Maybe not, I can... from the blur before. Maybe. You. Okay. Okay. Well, Joey, if you can't, again, just let me know. Um, other things we're going to need, we're going to need some measuring cups. You can see mine's still a little messy from this morning when I did it, but I have my one cup measuring cup. I already measured out my water. I did one cup of water, but we're not going to use it all. So just a fair warning. We're not going to dump everything in at once. Um, if you want, you can have a paintbrush handy. Oh, good. Joey can see it now. Perfect. If you want, you can have a paintbrush handy um, because right when you're done, if you guys want to take it outside, I know we're done for the morning after this. You can try it out. If you want to do different colors, you can. So I'm just going to show us how to make one color. But if you want to repeat the steps, you can do other colors. Um, I'm going to do purple today because purple is my favorite color, which I know friends who are here for Ublik, we had to mix some colors to make purple. Does anyone remember what two colors we had to mix to get purple? Because my food coloring didn't have it. Oh, awesome. I see Miriam's holding up her paint. Yes, Alejandra was red and blue. You got it. I see some other friends are saying it too. Now, in our materials list, it said you could use washable paint or food coloring. I did read a little bit more online about it. Originally, I was going to do food coloring, which looks like this, which we used with our Ublik. And you guys probably noticed that it turned your hands different color. Eventually, it came off. But I was reading on some websites that this can actually stain um, certain really light like sidewalks. I don't know if that's true because I didn't try it. So I'm actually not going to use food coloring today. And if you guys have washable paint, I would maybe advise using that instead just because it washes out more easily. Um, so I have a bunch of different colors here, but I'm going to use purple. Now, what we're going to do to get started is I need my big mixing bowl. So I'm going to move these guys out of the way just so you guys can see it. It is clear, so it might look like there's black stuff in it, but that's just my mat. We are going to pour in the measurement is one cup of cornstarch first. So we're getting, if your bottle looks like this, we're going to dump it into our one cup measuring cup. I did that beforehand. So I have it in my cup here all measured out. We're going to just dump that in our bowl to get started. And again, very powdery. So if you have a bowl with higher edges, that might be better. So then it doesn't kind of just splash out onto ta your table or whatever your workplace is. All right, you guys. So next, what we're going to do is we are going to add our one cup of baking soda. So the same measurement as the cornstarch, we are going to add baking soda now. So use your measuring cup if you have one. The measurements don't have to be exact, but the closer you can get to them, the better. So I'm going to pour that in here. And now if you guys have a fork or a spoon that you want to mix with, you can. I just think it's easier to use my hand. It's a little messy, but you want to mix those two together. So now it's kind of hard to tell the cornstarch from the baking soda because they look very, very similar. They have a slightly different texture, but it kind of creates like if you look at my fingers, you're like a chalky, a chalky texture. That's definitely from the cornstarch. But once that's all mixed up, what we're going to do is we're going to add our color. So I chose to do purple. Now, how much color you choose to do is totally up to you. If you want it to be a lighter purple, you could always dump a bunch of purple in and then maybe add a splash of white paint, or you could just do less paint. The darker you want it, the more paint you're going to have to use. So I'm going to start lighter because I found it when I experimented this morning with it is that after I mix it and add the water in, I can always add more paint if I want to make it darker, which is nice. So I poured my paint in there. My next step, I'm not going to mix it with my hand. I'm going to pour the water in first. Okay. Can friends hear me? Okay. I see some friends in the chat talking about muting problem. Your goodness is on, Jack. We can hear Okay. You. I just want to make sure. <laughs> I figured you guys would say something. All right. So what we're going to do next is we are going to add the water slowly. So do not dump your whole cup in. 
We're going to do maybe like half of it. And then we get to mix. So again, if you have like a fork you want to use, you can. I'm just going to use my hand. I just feel like it's easier. And it's a weird texture. I'm not going to lie. The texture reminds me a lot of oobleck, actually. It's like thicker, kind of like sticky, but it doesn't have, I know we talked about how with oobleck, how it's a non-Newtonian fluid. So remember how it was like solid in the bowl, but then we picked it up and it was slimy. This one is actually just always slimy. So I think that must be the baking soda does that, which is weird because that's the only thing we did different so far from this and oobleck. So I don't know. I, I should probably look that up because I thought it was really interesting how the baking soda almost counteracted with the cornstarch. All right. But mine's a pretty good texture. It's a little too thick though. So I think I may add a little bit more water and you guys can do this too. Just add it as you go. It's honestly entirely up to you, the texture you want your paint. If you want it to be a little bit thicker, then you can do less water. But I want mine to be a little more watery because I don't know if you guys saw in that picture, but you can either pour this in a smaller bowl to take it outside and paint, or they have like little arts and crafts squirt bottles you can buy, which I thought that was an awesome idea because this is really easy to put in a squirt bottle. And I'm going to switch my camera here in a second because I feel like it's easier to see the texture of it when I hold it up in front of me. Um, but first, I think I want to make it a little darker. So I want to show you guys what happens when we add paint after we've already done the cornstarch and baking soda. Because Oobleck, does anyone remember what happened when we added it after for friends who were here? Did it mix easily or was it giving us kind of a hard time? What are we thinking of? I see some friends. It looks like some friends are typing. Yes, it was rough to mix. So friends who were here, it was tough. It almost started to look like a tie dye. Like it wasn't mixing very well. So I'm actually going to add some here just so you guys can see it. And I'll add it like this. So this is kind of how Oobleck started, right? It was like a cool, once we dumped it in. But when I went to mix the Oobleck, it was so hard to mix. This one is so much easier. Instantly mixes together, which is awesome. And you can see my color got just a little bit darker here. So again, if you want it even darker than this, just add more paint. It looks really cool. It almost looks still tie dyed in some sections from the camera. Yeah, I was going to say it does definitely like it mixes better than the oobleck, but it does still hold that like little strip of color. All right, you guys, so I'm going to actually switch my camera back to me just so you guys can see me and I'm going to hold this up. This is a really big bowl. It's very deceiving in the hover cam. <laughs> it's pretty heavy too. Um, so, the, <laughs> so this is our bowl. And if I hold, you can see it's literally just liquid. So there's not no oobleck features to it, although it looks just like it. So it just literally drips right out of my hand. So this makes it super easy to pour. If you guys do want to do a squeeze bottle, this makes it really easy to pour it right into the bottle and you can do different colors. So like I did purple here and I did a lot. I did a whole batch of purple, but maybe instead of doing a cup of cornstarch and a cup of baking soda, you can just do half a cup. The goal is that you want your measurements for both of those to be the same. So if you want to do a quarter cup and a quarter cup, you can do that. Um, and then you can fill up different colors so that when you go outside, you can paint. Now I'm going to actually... Let this drip. And then I am going to, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then I'm going to dry my hand off for a second so I can show you guys uh, what it looks like on paper, because some friends might be thinking, well, if I don't go outside, can I just use on paper instead? I will say it doesn't work as well on paper, um, but it does work. If you do plan to do it on paper, I would use a lot more paint. Definitely make your colors darker. 
Yes. Like, you work on a chalkboard. Obviously not the one that's on the wall. But if you right. have like, a smaller chalkboard, and I would probably say either put something under it so it doesn't get all over or go outside with it. But I wonder if it's just a, a chalkboard. You would think it would. Yeah, I would say if you lay it flat, if you hold, like Miss Heather said, if it's upright, it's going to drip all the way down. <laughs> so yeah. if you lay it flat, it should work. Um, yes. And I see some friends are saying it doesn't really look like chalk. It's not supposed to. Remember, friends, this is sidewalk chalk paint. So it's actually supposed to look more like paint. The reason why it's called sidewalk chalk paint is because you could use it outside like you would with sidewalk chalk. You can do paintings or pictures on pavement. However, it has that. Um, oops, let me get my paper. It has that pink texture instead. So I'm going to slide my bowl over just so you guys can see what the purple looks like. It shows up pretty light on paper, though, I will say. So if I grab my paintbrush, you just dip it in. Or if you have those squirt bottles, you can use those too. Like if I just do like a smiley face, it shows up more like watercolors. So again, this is on a white background. If you do it on like your driveway or a darker pavement, it's going to show up a little bit better. But there's a little smiley face. <laughs> that had like black paper at home like construction paper or something that might that might be cool I was gonna say I would honestly be curious to see I don't know if any friends have that I actually I don't have black construction paper but I'd be curious to see if anybody else has it if you give it a try has anybody ever made this prior to today I'm curious how it works outside. You, I assume you didn't take it outside, Mrs. Onjack, right? I did not. So you guys, more homework. I keep doing <laughs> homework. If you take it outside, can you take a picture of whatever you draw and show yeah. me? Because I've never seen it outside. So I'm just curious how it actually works out there. Absolutely. And yes, you could finger paint with it too. That is a great idea. I see. Oh, my goodness. Maya, your hand. <laughs> what color did you? Is that purple? It looks very dark. Miriam, you have a black piece of paper. Let's see. Can you turn it a little bit? <gasps> oh, that looks good. Oh, very okay. cool. So the black paper definitely works. And it will probably look better as it dries, I would think. Did you make purple as well? That's great. Very cool, Maya. So Maya was going for purple, but it turned a little black. That's okay. Yeah, and you guys can mix colors too. So you saw after we added the color um, for the oobleck, we were able to kind of mix and make different colors. You can do that with this as well. So maybe I did purple, but I want to add a different color to it. I can. Purple... If I mix it with another color, I'm just afraid it might turn into not a color I'm looking for because it's not a primary color. I know last week we talked about primary and secondary colors. So purple is a secondary color. So I could have mixed like blue and red together to make this, but I'm just afraid if I mix, we can see. Do we want to test it out? What color should I mix with my purple? Let's see what color it gives us. Yeah, it might make brown. We'll experiment. Let's give it a try. Does anybody have a color you want me to throw in? I have orange, red, yellow, blue, pink, green. Alejandro said orange. That was the first one I saw, so I'm going to do it. So let me grab my orange paint here. I feel like this is definitely going to make brown. <laughs> we were just using PA virtual colors, orange yeah. and purple. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. Guys. That's why Alejandro picked that. I know. <laughs> I love that. All right. Let's see. Do, do, do. We're going to just go like this. Oh, cool. Yeah, look at that. PA virtual. Represent. <laughs> All right, you guys. Let's see what happens when we mix it. I put a pretty good amount in here of orange. Oh, I'm noticing some is sticking to the bottom now. Hmm. 
it's harder to mix in. Yeah, I feel like this one's get, being a list colors, making it a little bit more difficult to mix. Oh, there we go. That's All right. In color. This is actually a lot prettier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> You're almost like a cheesy color. Yeah, we got almost like a pink. <laughs> We're lucky. I was not expecting this. I thought I was going to be like, I don't know, a br mushy brown color. <laughs> Very cool. Now, I wonder, should we do a third color? What do you guys think will happen if I add pink to it? If it's already starting to look pink, should we try to add more? I have this pink. It's a little bit darker, though, than the pink in the bowl. So it's cool because you guys really can mix and match and make your own colors. So if you do this at home, you can have fun with it. Oops, that was a really big clump. Okay, let's see what happens with that. Uh-oh, so we put a lot of pink in. Oh, I feel like it's kind of staying the same. <laughs> Might be a little bit more pink. Yeah, it definitely is like a little bit more vibrant, but overall, it's definitely holding that pink. I never would have thought we would go from purple to pink. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So now you guys know, too, if you have purple and orange, but you don't have pink, you can try that. Let me switch my camera again just to show you guys the texture of it. Because it is exactly the same, which I think is neat. No matter how much paint we add, it doesn't thicken it or anything like that. So if you look, ooh, gross. <laughs> Very fun. So then again, you guys can put this in a square bottle. Maybe if you made purple to start and you poured a little bit in a cup or in a bottle to take outside. And then you can even keep some of the mixture. So we just proved to ourselves we don't have to start over from the very beginning with the directions and the steps, you guys can just add some colors to make a new color. And then you can pour this in a different bottle or a different cup to take outside. So we just made two colors right there. Mm -hmm.